The new SpaceX Dragon capsule has gotten a lot of attention the last few months for being the next generation crew transportation vehicle to the International Space Station, but it will also be carrying cargo and it will start doing so on the CRS-21 mission. So today I thought we should talk about the differences between the old Cargo Dragon and the new Cargo Dragon along with the Crew Dragon. Let's go. go for Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon and welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday, where we talk about space and science every Tuesday, and it's never two minutes, but we do it anyways, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And for reasons that I don't fully understand, we will put two minutes on the clock and get to today's Two Minute Tuesday. It's important for the ISS to have regularly scheduled resupply missions, which include supplies and science projects. Early on, this was done using the Space Shuttle, but more recently, commercial partners have been fulfilling this duty. The first round of commercial resupply, or CRS, missions was done using SpaceX's original Dragon capsule and also the Cygnus capsule. Now we're entering phase two of this contract, which will see SpaceX utilize their new Dragon capsule, along with the Cygnus capsule again and Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser. Now for SpaceX, the new Cargo Dragon, sometimes called Cargo Dragon V2, is almost an identical vehicle to the new Crew Dragon capsule. But there are a few differences, most of which are pretty obvious to see. There will be no seats, no windows, no cockpit controls, no toilet, and no life support systems because there are no astronauts on board. Instead, the inside of the capsule has an elaborate system of racks and straps for payloads. The whole design itself is full of simple little space savings that give the new Dragon capsule 30% more usable volume for payloads compared to the Dragon V1. It can also transport double the amount of powered cargo, which is super important for life science and time critical experiments. Now, on the outside, the most obvious difference is that the cargo variant of the V2 Dragon capsule does not have any Super Draco abort engines because there are no astronauts that might need to be saved in an abort scenario, so it looks a little bit different. The capsule will also use a similar trunk to the Crew Dragon with integrated solar panels that can support the vehicle in orbit for up to 75 days, which is about double what the V1 Dragon was capable of. Now, the first CRS-21 mission will still have a duration of about 30 days, which is the same as previous missions, but beginning as early as CRS-23, they may be extending those missions to remain at the ISS for up to 60 days. Now, getting to the ISS is just like the Crew Dragon capsule. This variant of the Cargo Dragon will dock autonomously, instead of needing the robotic arm to grapple it like the Dragon V1 needed. One interesting drawback of this, though, is that the Dragon V2 docking port is smaller than the Dragon V1. That means that they can't carry big items like the NASA EVA a suit since they can't fit it through the front door. A few other notable differences is that this Dragon variant will splash down in the Atlantic Ocean, just like the Crew Dragon can, but different from the previous Cargo Dragon, which splashed down in the Pacific. This is a huge benefit for researchers as it means that they can get their hands on returning science payloads much sooner, and SpaceX can begin processing the vehicle for reuse sooner as well. And speaking of reuse, the new Cargo Dragon is capable of being flown up to five times compared to the previous Dragon capsule, which only saw reuse up to three times per capsule. So those are the major differences between the Dragon capsule, and that is where I'm gonna wrap up this week's Two Minute Tuesday. And we got it, we got it, right? We made the timer, we got it, we made it. Yeah, no, no, we didn't, okay. Well, it's always next time. Either way, be sure to click the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. to have regularly regularly who put that word in there that means that they can't carry as what does that mean it means something do i say goodbye i say see ya see ya goodbye